Hey everyone, it's Houndex here, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full guide in optimizing the Dell G3 or any other Dell G series game laptop in 2021. These optimizations I'm going to show you in this video will work for the 2020 models, but if you're on an Alienware laptop or if you're watching this in the future on an upcoming Dell G series 2021 model, then you can still stick around in the video and take some notes if you like. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now before applying any of these optimizations, I highly recommend you guys creating a restore point. This is so that you can back up your stuff. This is in case if you messed up on the optimization, so you'll always have this option to revert back to your original state when you created this restore point. Now in order to create a restore point, you want to go ahead and head over to the search bar and type in restore point, which is right here. You want to click restore point. And by default, if you've never used restore point before, the protection will say off. So click configure and then click turn on. Now for the max usage, I recommend dragging it around 5%. So for me, that's around 11 gigs. So 5% is good enough. Click apply and okay. Now you'll see this option called create. It will not be grayed out anymore and you click create. You can call this whatever you want. So I'll just call this Dell G3 optimization then you can click create once it has been successfully created now close out of restore point and you're good to go so the first optimization i'm going to show you guys is going to be debloating the dell g3 laptop now if you don't know what debloating means it basically means removing some junk apps and pre-installed garbage now if you've never uninstalled any of these apps before you're going to have a lot of bloatware and removing this bloatware would generally help reduce memory usage and cpu usage so you can expect higher fps results starting off we're going to uninstall the bloatware that dell has pre-installed on our computer so in order to head over to the apps and features option right click on your windows icon now click apps and features up at the top then you'll see this screen right here where you can uninstall all these apps now we're going to go on to go ahead and uninstall pretty much everything that has something to do with dell so dell mobile connect drivers we can uninstall that what you don't want to do is uninstall the alienware command center and the alienware so uninstall everything that has something to do with dell except for the alienware stuff I'll go ahead and uninstall the Dell mobile connect drivers and then you just have to wait a while and it will disappear. Do the same thing for other apps such as like Office. That is the bloatware version of Office. You want to actually download the one that is on the website not the one you find in Microsoft Store. And do the same thing for OneNote. Uninstall that. As well as Realtek Audio Console. If you don't use this then uninstall it. So I'm going to quickly do that. I don't really use OneDrive that much, so if you don't use it, definitely remove it because it does take up some re system resources and it automatically syncs your files like on your computer. It's one of the reasons you may see one of those green check boxes next to your uh, desktop icon, so I'm just going to remove that just like so. And another thing to keep in mind is do not uninstall these Microsoft Visual stuff right here. This is actually these plugins that your computer needs. These are actually plugins that games need in order to function properly so do not remove these just leave them on your computer and that's pretty much it for the uploading part of this video now head back to the home menu and we're gonna go into the gaming tab in the settings app so we're gonna go ahead and disable this if you don't use it xbox game bar isn't a very good screen recorder in my opinion and if you've got a nvidia graphics card in your dell g3 then i highly recommend using nvidia shadow play instead because that's a much more convenient option and less system demanding as get xbox game bar because this thing takes a lot of your system resources now go to game mode and then go ahead and enable this option I, it's better to keep it on and go to graphics settings and you want to find this option called harbor accelerate gpu scheduling for me this actually benefits so definitely turn this on as this will actually lower your latency so if you want the lowest latency turn this on and for graphics performance preference you can browse an app and prioritize it if you want but we're going to do this all in the nvidia control panel so you don't have to do this right now so the next thing we're going to do is update our gpu drivers updating your drivers can also fix bugs and help deal with game crashes now head over to this website, I'll drop this link down in the description below, and you, for the prototype, leave it as GeForce, select whatever series your GPU belongs to, I have a 1650, make sure it's under the notebook section, do not choose the one of the regular series, operating system, leave it as default, 
for Windows driver type, make sure you choose DCH instead of standard because I found that the standard one doesn't really work with Dell G3 laptops or other G series laptops. Now click search and you want to download the latest version, which is the one that was released today, which is the 465.89. And you want to click on that and click download. And then now click start download. Now this is going to take a moment to download, it's around 700 megabytes. Now click OK when it shows up the screen. And it's going to start unpacking this installer. This will take a moment. It's going to start checking the system compatibility and it's already verified it's compatible. Select NVIDIA Graphics Driver and GeForce Experience. Select Custom, we want to choose this option and click Next tick perform a clean installation and untick physx system software we don't need that just take everything else except for this and then click next and then now wait for it to install all right so now i'm back and as you know i've cut this video because i'm currently recording this video with my gpu and updating the gpu driver reinstalling it will corrupt the recording so i can't really record the process during the installation process, you may notice that your resolution and the refresh rate change. That's completely normal. That is all part of the driver update process. In addition to driver updates, we're going to have to update the integrated graphics card drivers. Most Dell G series gaming laptops have Intel CPUs. So you're going to want to head over to the Intel website and we're going to use the Intel DSA to automatically update our drivers. Now click download now, click start download. Now click open. And you're going to want to go ahead and install to click the client for this and then click launch. And it's going to start scanning your system. If you need any updates, if you see any updates show up right here, just click the update option. There should be an update button right here, but for me, I've already updated. So it doesn't, there's no driver updates available. So I'm pretty much good for the Intel part of this video. Actually, never mind. I just scanned the Intel DSA again, and this time it did show two updates, but these aren't really the graphics drivers update. These are more like the Wi-Fi drivers updates, but I'd still recommend installing them. So I'm just doing them right now. Just any kind of driver that's related to Intel will show up in here. So I'm just going to quickly run through this, accept the license things. You can choose typical. Now the Bluetooth one is finished. So we're gonna now run the Wi Fi one, I believe. And then click install. Now click finish, and I think we're pretty much done. Okay, now it shows this green sign which my drivers have been successfully updated and now we're pretty much set for the intel part of this video also this intel's dsa thing is actually installed into your computer and this thing runs in your background so in case in, in the future like a few months later there's a new driver update it will automatically notify you in the notifications area that you'll need to download a driver which i find pretty convenient because i always like that reminder so you can feel free to keep this software installed on your computer so that's going to be it for today's video i hope you guys found it helpful in any way if you're feeling generous today you feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more of these kind of videos i also made it a full guide in optimizing the lenovo legion if you want to check that video out i'll drop that down below i just want to thank everyone for the 1200 subscribers and yeah i'll see you all in my next video